I've just spent two days in Uzbekistan, not long enough to, to see all the incredible things that are there. But, um, but the event that I went to was an international handicraft fair, a festival rather I should say, which was um, organised by the Uzbekistan government at the behest of the president. And I know that there was also a very major conference as part of it to explore uh, craft and material culture in Uzbekistan with very many people from different countries. And I think I've been very impressed with the way that the country has reached out to many different countries to invite them to show their own work in Uzbekistan, but also the rich cultural heritage that you have in the, in the country, how that is being explored um, in partnership with many others, such as the British Museum the Fitzwilliam and Cambridge University. I think in terms of the last three years what I see is a country which is very keen to to um, communicate with the rest of the world, to be part of the rest of the world and to be proud about its own heritage and culture and to promote that internationally and I think that the International Festival for Handicrafters was a very good example of, of soft power, it was about showcasing the very best of British, of Uzbekistan craft but also showcasing work from all over the, over the world. Um, there were cultural ministers and attaches from many different countries and I think it was a very effective way of Uzbekistan showcasing what it stands for now rather than what it was before.